Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I'm coming to you guys from outside. It's a nice day, so I decided why not make the video out here. Um, but yeah, today I would like to share some money saving tips in this aquarium hobby. Um, we all know that this aquarium hobby is growing continuously. Um, there are a ton of people joining this fish keeping hobby, which is a good thing, but you know there are going to be some downsides. And one of those is that the demand for aquariums and aquarium supplies is going to increase. And because of that, you can expect the prices of your fish tank stuff to go up too. And as of today, things are already expensive, so imagine when more and more people join the hobby. Um, so in this video, I want to give you guys some tips on ways you could decorate your tank for free. I'm talking about fine decorations in nature um, that can make your tank look very beautiful, make your fish happy, and keep a couple of dollars in your pocket. So in front of you is a 20 gallon tank. This is actually my hospital tank. So I'm just using it for this video. I don't have any fish sick at the moment. So I'm gonna use it for this video and then maybe a couple of days later, I'm gonna break it back down and let it go back to serving its purpose. But yeah, this is the tank I wanted to use to demonstrate um, ways you could decorate your tank completely, completely free. So I guess first we'll start off from top to bottom. Well, I'll start from the top, I'll go to the bottom and then I'll work the middle. So starting with the top of my tank, um, I want to take you guys inside and show you my 210 gallon tank. If you look at the top, I have this, just like um, this tree root coming from the top and it looks completely awesome. Now this tree root came directly from a tree that was falling down and I'm, no, I'm sure wherever you are in the world, um, whatever country, whatever continent, wherever you are, you can find a tree that has fallen. Um, you go to the bottom of that tree and the roots will be exposed and all you have to do, depending on how long that tree has been like that, if the tree has like recently fell down, it may be a little bit harder to take off the roots. You may have to use like a saw or something. But if that tree has been down easily, like the one that you're seeing now, um, the roots will break off. And you can break these off and put them at the top of your tank and they look awesome. Now I don't recommend going and killing the tree. If the tree is alive, if the tree still have leaves and have life, leave it alone because you know the earth has over, the earth has billions of people and um, less trees is definitely not good. So you don't wanna go killing live trees, but if you come across a tree that has already fallen down, you could go ahead and um, take off the roots and let me show you what you could do. So because this tank is not temporal, well, because this tank is temporal, I'm not gonna um, glue it. If, if this was a permanent tank, I would just um, glue these branches to the top of the tank. But because it's not permanent, I'm gonna break it down after this video. I have these little suction cups, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the back of the tank, hopefully you can see that the glare isn't too strong. I'm gonna put them back there, and then I'm gonna simply take these pieces that I broke off the tree roots, and they should wedge in there. This is the same thing I have in a 210 gallon tank, and it looks awesome. So that's one right there. And if you don't wanna glue it, these suction, these suction cups will hold on to it pretty well if you just make sure you put them in on the right position. Yeah, there's two. These suction cups sometimes act up on me. But yeah, you can find trees just about anywhere in the world. So if you find one that's already dead, simply break off the roots. Look at that, they're not sticking because um, the suction, suction cups are dry. But when you put water in this tank, they will stick. I may, I have a little bit of, I'm gonna have to wet them real quick. Right. So YouTube, that's um, already a good start to the tank. Looks really cool, looks really natural. Maybe I should have got a few more pieces, but for now it's a good start. And I'm once again completely free. So after that, I want to go down to the substrate. Now the substrate is a lot more harder to find. For me and my aquariums, I have a lake that's nearby and there's just tons of gravel, perfect size. Everybody comments and say it looks so natural. But I know that's not the case with everybody. So today I tried to go and um, Try to find something that a lot of people could find nearby. So I went to my local stream. This was a regular stream um, and a nearby reservoir. 
And um, I think that this is the typical stream found across North America. I went to a little spot where the, dra the gravel was like dried up. This was a part of the river that dried up. And um, I just took a little sifter. This thing is used for cooking, I can't even remember the name. But I took this thing and I, let, I put all the rocks through it. The big ones I removed and then I kept the small ones. And um, it left me with a bucket full of gravel. After that I went and washed this gravel. And um, now this is what I have. So, you know, put that in there. Now this is not the same stuff I use in my tanks. I just thought about it for this video because I know that not everybody has the resources that I have when it comes to that, um, that nice gravel that I have in a nearby lake. But I think this is more common. If you go to a nearby stream or lake, um, check what's on the bottom of that lake. Sometimes that stuff is just as usable as other stuff. And you know it's gonna look natural because you're getting it from the wild. Oh yeah, this stuff wasn't easy to get. So this stuff is free, but it's definitely not easy to get. It took me about a half an hour cleaning it and getting it. I had to load all this stuff into my bag. Then I had to take that heavy bag for about a 15 minute hike back to the car. So it's free, but it will cost you some labor. And it also takes a lot of time gathering this stuff. It took me about a half an hour scooping this much and you can see it's not even a lot but it's enough maybe I should strap my GoPro on so you could get a a buff shot okay so right now you should have some view of how it looks from the top oh look at that man let's wet it a little bit more Okay everyone, so now we have a substrate. We have some roots coming from the top. Maybe I'll move these a little bit up so that you won't be able to see the source of them because naturally in the wild, you won't see like the broken pieces of the roots. So now we have the roots and in the wild, they maybe won't be so straight. So you can twist them up to make them as natural as possible. So far, that's a good start. We'll clean off this so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so next after that, the easiest part, which are rocks. Now, there's two main types of rocks you can find naturally for free. You have river rock, um, which I think is more common. And then you have mountain rock. Now, if you look at all my aquariums, I use mountain rock. And this is a rock that just fell off the face of a mountain when I go hiking. And that same lake where I get my gravel from when I go hike, Hiking this stuff is all over because it's just a huge mountain and pieces break off all the time and I just put them in my aquariums. But I know that's not the case with everybody. People don't have mountains. Not everybody has a beautiful mountain nearby. So instead, most people will have river rock, which I think is a little bit more easier to, um, to find. And river rock works just as fine. So I'm just gonna put a little simple rock scape in here. It would have been better if I had a few bigger ones, but you know, bigger means more weight. So right now I have substrate, I have decorations, and um, my price tag is zero dollars, but I did have to put in a little bit of labor. So far, it looks pretty natural, which is my style. I've got one more rock I could put in. Now, if this tank was more permanent, I probably would have went for more bigger rocks. Um, but because it's not permanent, I didn't think to go search out for bigger rocks. But even as it is, it's still looks pretty good. And that's another thing about these natural um, tools. 
these nat natural decorations. It doesn't take much to bring up or to create a, a good looking setup. And simply, I just put the rocks in any random order and they look pretty good. So now I'm gonna go get a water hose and fill this bad boy up. Okay everyone, so by the way, this tank has a black painted background. Um, regular backgrounds that you could buy from the store. I just like black ones better when it comes to taking pictures, when it comes to just obfuscating your tank. Um, when you have a plain black background, I feel as if it's better for focusing on what's inside the aquarium. Um, this black paint I bought for about $5 for a quart, and it was all I needed for this tank, and it looks pretty good. So, just a little quick tip for you all. Okay everyone, so I'm not sure how well you can see it because that glare is kind of terrible. But um, the tanks look pretty awesome. It looks pretty natural with the driftwood coming from the top, with the stones on the bottom. But I want to add one more thing for a final touch. And that's some innocuous. This stuff goes like crazy around my house. Now I wasn't holding the microphone so I'm not even sure how well you heard that first part. But yeah, I have innocuous that goes like crazy. Look how long this piece is. I'm going um, to show you how long this one piece is. That's all one piece of anacrus that grows in my little side pond. Um, but yeah, the next thing you can add is live plants. I always recommend using live plants. You could buy uh, a fake plant for what, about $16? And I think the maintenance that you have to do with fake plants is the same amount of maintenance you have to do with live plants. And that's because fake plants, they grow algae on them. Fake plants get tore by your fish and stuff like that. And um, I think it'll be a lot more better for you just to go ahead and buy live plants. Start off with something easy like the Sinacris. This stuff grows like crazy and um, it's super easy. So I'm just gonna plant some of this for a final touch. The tank still could be a little bit more clearer, but for now it's not bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna plant some of this Sinacris. By the way, this Sinacris has been flowering in my own pond over there. But yeah. And because this substrate came directly from the wild, it should still have a lot of nutrients in it, which will be a good boost for the Sinacris. Okay everyone, and there you have it. This tank looks pretty natural. Um, everything in this tank was free, except for the live plants if you don't already have some. Um, but I have seen this anacrus plant while I was up there collecting this other stuff. If you're in the US, anacrus is native to the US. But the thing is, with those plants, you're gonna get a high chance of collecting parasites as well. So you're better off just spending the five or six dollars for the actual live plant. And this stuff grows pretty well once you get the hang of it. But yeah, this tank completely free and looks completely natural. Once again, I'm not sure how good you can see it because you can see me so well. You're pretty much looking at the glare of my house, the little, um, the siding of my house. So I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it looks awesome and it's completely free. Now I just want to throw a fish in there for staging. I'm going to let this tank stay up for a couple of days and then I'll break it down because it is my hospital tank.
Okay everyone, so that was a quick build of this tank just for the purpose of sharing some free aquarium decorations for your aquarium. So I know that the show off of this tank wasn't too good and that's because I'm out here and the glare is terrible. I forgot about that. So the glare on this tank was extremely terrible. So you pretty much just saw half of the tank and half of this stuff back here. But it looks awesome. You see it in my other tanks. This is what I use and you will save money. Now um, let me know what you guys think. If you know some other free things that you can add to your tank um, to make your tank look awesome, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And that will be the end to the video. Isn't that right, Jonah? Yep. See you next time.